Welcome to my channel. So today's video, I'm just going to be kind of sharing with you guys some testimonies of my prophetic words of the month. I don't know if you guys have been seeing any results or not, and if they have been helpful to you guys, but I know I surely have, starting from Authority in April, A May of Miracles, um, joining June, Justice July, all the way to now, which was Abundance and Acceleration in August. So, starting with April, April really kick-started it very, very good for me. Um, in April, I had two really big things happen. So, to begin... I laid hands to see my very first two people baptized in the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking of tongues. God led me to lay hands on two young men and to pray for them that they would receive it and they did right then and right there. It was absolutely amazing. Um, it was the first time I really saw the power of God flow through me while praying for someone else. Um, it was it was absolutely amazing. Since then, I've seen a few people get baptized in the spirit by being led to pray for them. And so yeah, this was authority in April. I took authority and asked God, you know, with the authority that he's given me to fill them, that he would come down and fill them, and that they would speak in tongues and they felt the presence of God. I think they cried a little bit, were shaking. Um, just, it was, it was very amazing. And also I had something else very big happen to me that month. I was on vacation in New Jersey. And now, you know, I don't always make the right best choices. I'm gonna say that before I you know, talk about this. I'm human, so, you know, I know I probably shouldn't have, but, so on this trip in New Jersey, at night, we were there for a week. There wasn't a lot to do. We were surrounded by a bunch of resorts. Um, there's plenty to do during the day, you know, but at night, there wasn't. And so, um, a few times throughout the week that not at night, I would go with my parents and we'd walk around the resorts and go through the shops and stuff. Well, they also had casinos. It was a big thing. And so I did go in and play at the casino two or three nights out of that week. And so the very first night I went to the casino, I think it was the second night we were there, I opted to stay at the hotel the first night. I was like, you know, no, I'm not gonna go out and gamble. But the second night, I decided to go with my parents, and I ended up losing my wallet. This was, I brought $800 cash. Um, it was on Michael Kors wallet, so it was pretty expensive. It was gift cards, my ID to get on the plane. I had just got my concealed and carry license. It had everything it had so much in it i guess after winning some money i left it at the one of the casino machines and um i was so upset that night i was like you know i went all the way back crying we went and backtracked and couldn't find it i was like oh god you know how could you let this happen to me um you know you knew this was gonna happen you know, you knew this was going to happen. You didn't say anything. You didn't warn me. Nothing. Well, after that night, I decided to get over it. 
I woke up the next day and I was like, you know what? There's nothing I can do about it. I'm not going to let it ruin my time, you know? And we still got a whole week here, so I'm going to try to enjoy it. Well, not the not that night, but the next night. So over that time, my dad had given me two or three hundred dollars for the rest of the week, and that I was to use. Well, the not the third night, but the fourth night, we're there. I was like, okay, God, like we were going through the resorts and stuff again, and my parents wanted to go to the casinos. And I was like, God, please let me win back some money. Like, please, I'm gonna spend a little bit of money. Please let me win back some money that I've lost. Like, at least a little bit. Um, at least give my dad back the money, you know, that he had given me. And so we get there. I end up winning. God, literally, I don't care what you guys may think. I was asking God and he started telling me like certain bets to do. I ended up winning a thousand dollars that night, guys. I kid you not. And so, God is so good. I ended up winning the money back. And it was, it was amazing. Then the next day we ended up calling and we we're still trying to find my wallet. We're backtracking and going to security, see if anyone's seen it, no, nothing. Well, I think it was that day I was like, you know what? I used my authority and I said, in the name of Jesus, my wallet's going to show up somewhere. Even if it just had my ID like on it, so I could get back on the plane because it was a big hassle. Um, I was like, yeah, in the name of Jesus, we're going to find my wallet. After that, didn't think anything else of it. The day before, I think it was the next day, the day before we go to leave, we decided to check one security place. We had caught everything that morning, um, nothing. So that evening, we decided to go in and check one of the security places at a mini resorts. And we walk in, we ask them, they're like, oh, we don't, we haven't really seen anything, but we'll look just to make sure. They, they literally pulled out my Michael Kors wallet. They said they don't know where it came from, they don't know how it got there. It had been floating around for three days. Nobody had seen it. Nobody, they don't remember anyone turning it in, but it was there and it literally had all of my money in it. So guys, I ended up leaving with almost $2,000 worth, double of what I had originally went on vacation with. Like, absolutely amazing they said they've never seen anything like that usually if someone will like strip the wallet take all the money out and stuff but it had everything in it so that was my authority in april moving on miracle of may there's a bunch of little miracles i wish i could remember them all um just the little things that happened like for example my mom she went to get a massage. She had like a gold, I think it was a gold necklace and it had diamonds in it. She took it off, put it in her pocket in the mall. Well, she forgot that she had taken it off, right? And so she gets home and she at some point realizes it's not in her pocket and that she had lost it. Well, my mom's freaking out. She's looking for hours and she's crying and crying. And I, I remember thinking and saying, in the name of Jesus, we are gonna find your necklace. Cause I had some faith after that wallet, you know? So I was like, in the name of Jesus, we're gonna find your necklace. Didn't think anything else of it. I went downstairs and I kid you not, five minutes later, she comes out saying she found her necklace in that it was in a spot where she had, had already looked like three times and it was just like laying there. She was like, I don't know, there's no way I could have missed it. It was like literally, so she found it in her bed. She was like, it was literally laying on top of her bed. There's no way she wouldn't have seen it the other few times she checked. And that was like one of the miracles of May. Um, there's a bunch of little things like that, but for some reason I can't remember right now. 
there was joining June. I had experienced some backsliding, unfortunately, um, in between the end of May and June because of isolation, which God has had me isolated for a very long time. But this was like, I don't know, the enemy got at me where I was sick of feeling isolated. And so joining June, he really joined me back to him. I really got back on fire, like even more so in this month. He joined me with some other believers and friendships. I started seeing me being joined with other people that um, were on fire for God. And then also, you know, Roe versus Wade, I talked about it in a couple videos before it even happened. Um, a joining back of the nation happened in this month. So absolutely amazing. And then there was a July of justice. This was last month, a July of justice. I seen a lot of justice in my family where my parents things I'd been praying for, the devil to get his hands off my parents. I had seen my parents really start to come back and seek God last month. So when I got saved, they also eventually got saved, but this is different. It's like their fire has been rekindled, which is what I was praying for and that they would start to try and walk in their purpose. So I've really been seeing that last month um, justice in my family, justice in my own life. I see, I saw so much deliverance. I don't care what anyone says. When you become a Christian, your spirit gets renewed, but your body, your flesh, and your soul, which is your mind, will, and emotions are not. And, sorry, that's thunder, guys. Your your soul isn't and so it needs a lot of work it needs a lot of work your your soul and your body are against your spirit it wants to do the complete opposite i seen so much deliverance where i mean it, it's crazy like some some snake spirits i was delivered from a lot of justice in my own life um I, I don't know if you guys noticed, I used to wear a big cross. I took that off and since I've seen a major reduction in spiritual attacks, I used to be attacked many times a day by demonic spirits, but now I experience it maybe once to once a day or maybe once every few days. I've seen a major reduction in deliverance and God just working on my behalf for that kind of justice. Um, taking that cross off, there Jesus was actually on my cross. He was hanging on the cross on my pendant and I took it off and I realized people had been speaking into my life that it was bringing a curse over my life because it was Catholic. Catholic is not a true religion it's not it's um it's false and it brings a curse over your life jesus hanging on the cross he's not still on the cross guys right so we should not have crosses with jesus hanging on them and yeah i seen a big a big difference when taking that off and i knew god had been speaking that to me for months but i didn't want to just because um you know it's real gold and it, it was nice and i was like man that's like my cross but um, after a couple people spoke it into my life, yeah. So through that, I've seen a lot of deliverance and other things and using my authority and casting out demonic spirits. And you might say, whoa, why am I listening to this girl? She got demonic spirits. And a spirit of fear, if you have a fear of heights, um, bugs, snakes, spiders, if you have a fear of anything, isolation, claustrophobic, you, that is a demonic spirit. It can be a demonic spirit of rejection. You always feel like you're being rejected or, you know, it don't, anger issues. It doesn't have to be a demon possessed, you know, um, to, you don't have to be demon possessed in that way to have 
demonic spirits and to need deliverance, okay? So, yeah, I saw a lot in those areas. And then this month, an abundance and acceleration in August. Man, I've already seen an abundance of what dreams visions um hearing the voice of god getting insight knowledge wisdom prophetic insight god's been speaking to me and abundantly more he's accelerated my life my business god's had me start a business he uh, oh that's another thing in the may of miracle the miracle may he had me he started just throwing a business my way when i wasn't looking for it um, but he's accelerated it. I've gotten probably just this month, like 10, 10 people calling me, wanting me to come and, and talk to them about, you know, um, checking out their place because God has had me start a cleaning business. Weird. I know I've always wanted to be a nurse, so, but I'm finding this is even more fruitful. Um, lucrative you know so i'm just trying to do what the lord wants me to do but yeah i've seen acceleration in the process of my place being built an abundance man um and i hope you guys have been seeing things too i hope this isn't just me if you have and you feel led or you want to please comment and share some some testimonies i would love to hear them they're so encouraging Anyway, I got to go to work. Thank you for watching my video if you watched this far. Uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up and like the video. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time I post. Usually I post one to three times a week so you can be on the lookout for those. I do have a prophetic word for the month of September. And I think some of you guys are really going to like it. It has to do with love. So... My kingdom spouses out there, people waiting on God, I think um, they're waiting for kingdom spouses. You're going to like this one, okay? That is all. Thank you guys for watching if you watched this far. And of course, I'll be back as spirit leads. So, bye guys.